everyone. Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. In today's episode, Topaz Studio 2, Creative Detail. I'm really excited about this tutorial today because I want to really show you how you can use Topaz um, Precision Detail, the filter on my last video I took the deep dive into. I'm going to show you now how to use it to add creative detail to your images. In other words, to cause your viewers to look at look at the parts of your image that you want them to look at by bringing out detail. Now, there's certain things in an image that will make you look at an image. One thing is detail, like sharpness in certain areas. Another thing is contrast, color. But today we're dealing with detail, getting your viewer to look at the part of your image that you want them to see. So without any further ado, let's get started. We're starting out with this really cool image right here. Now I have three different examples, so stay tuned. Now this is not a full edit workflow. We're just dealing with uh, creative detail using the precision detail filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. And uh, I'll link in the description below to the uh, last uh, video I did, which was a deep dive into the uh, precision detail filter showing you how it really works. But today it's all about how to use it creatively to draw your viewer's eye to certain parts of the image that you want them to see. Okay. And uh, so one area that draws people is detail. Another area that I forgot to mention in the uh, intro was areas of light. Viewers are tend to be drawn to areas of light. So sometimes you got to be careful with areas of light. If you have parts of the image that are light and you don't want people to see those, sometimes you have to kind of tame those areas down. But that's a topic for a whole nother video okay but we're talking about detail today so the first thing we want to do with this one is add a filter and we're going to add the precision detail filter and we're going to get started here now we're going to be using layer masking here so stay tuned this is going to be really interesting you're going to learn a lot so let's get started the first thing i want to point out is what do we want our viewer to really look at now i like these front rocks here these, these guys here, this one here. So I'd like these to be the uh, have the most detail. I'd like a little extra detail on these rocks back here. And then these final rocks back here, I don't think I want to add any detail to those. And, by, and what I want to do here also, as well as uh, bring my viewer into the front rocks here, but I also want them to see some depth into this image. And I think by adding various amounts of detail I believe our viewer will see some extra depth in this image. You'll see here as we go along. First thing I want to do is start to um, adjust the slider. So we're going to start with overall here. And we're just going to take the small detail. And don't forget to watch my deep dive because it explains how all this stuff works. But I just want to bring out some small areas of detail like so. I don't want to go too crazy here. And then I'm going to play with my boost here a little bit. I generally don't mess with this too much. Uh, I might just pull that boost back to the left a little bit. I like to refer to the boost as kind of a fine tuning for the detail. So I might give that a little more overall small detail, maybe right around there. I don't want to overdo it. Here's the before and here's the after. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's move over to medium detail. And remember, this is the overall detail. So yeah, I'm going to add some medium detail in here. I don't want to go too crazy, but maybe something like that. Here's the before and after. I'm always checking my before and after, by the way. And don't worry about the entire image. Just concentrate on these front rock areas right here, okay? And let's try the overall medium boost. Yeah, we can boost that up a little bit. And I might just boost it very slightly, like a... 0.02 very minimal now let's try the large detail yeah look at that i really like that i'm going to add just a little bit of large detail in there so here's the before and here's the after and we have sharp in here too if we need to add some sharpening there but i think that looks good now i generally don't use the shadow and highlight details too much but there's some uh shadow detail in here that i not that i might want to bring out in these darker areas of the rocks so let me click on shadows and let's give that a little overall small detail. See how that brings a little bit of extra detail out in those shadow shadow areas. And let's try the medium detail. Yeah, just, I don't want to go too crazy, but maybe right there. And I think I'm going to leave the large alone there. After making the detail adjustments, here's the before and here's the after. I think it looks a little darker to me for some reason. So let me go ahead and play with the with the lighting. So let me just open up the midtones. Just give it a little increased lighting in the midtones. I think it's going to help it. I think right there. 
Yeah, that looks good. And I might open up the shadows a tiny wee bit. You know, I could darken the shadows by going to the left, which is that's way too much. But I can lighten them up by going to the right. So I might just lighten up those shadows just a little bit. Just the, it's also going to let us see this detail that's in here. So here's the before and here's the after. Now for some layer masking. What I want to do is come up to the precision detail layer mask, click on it, and then see the three dots right here? I'm going to click here and invert the layer mask, and that totally hides it from everything. Now let's grab our, ourselves a brush, and let's take our transparency. I'm going to take it the whole way to the right, which is 100%, which is going to give me a white swatch right here. So I'll be painting white paint over this area here, and I'll be revealing that. So I think I'm going to start to paint in this area right in here first, and then I'll paint on this rock over here, and then I'll use varying amounts of uh, the transparency. So I'll start to pull the transparency back, but you'll see that here in a second. I'm going to adjust my uh, brush radius size here and also my softness. And I think that's good. I'm going to leave edge wear on. Now I'm going to start to paint. And I love the fact that you can see the overlay. I'm going to paint this rather fast, but take your time and do it right. But you notice this is the area I want to get. I want the full effect on this area right here. Because remember, I'm trying to build some depth into this image here. So I'm going to paint this area first, like so, and you can see the detail pop out, right? And now I'm going to paint up in here, in this area, right in here, all this. And again, I'm being rather sloppy, but take your time and get it right. I'm leaving that, uh, that orangish type color out of this, because to me that's at a different level. So let's go ahead and get this all painted in here. This is the first pass right here. I'm not going to do any more um, adjustments on the precision detail. I'm going to do all the adjustments now with a layer mask. Okay, so that's the first white paint full strength through. And now I'm going to take the transparency and I'm going to pull it back to maybe around a, you know, 64, 65. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And now what I want to do is just paint on this area right here. And the further I go back in depth into the image, I'm going to add less and less of the detail, which I believe will build up our depth. Okay. So here's our second pass right there. Now I'm going to take this and pull it back even more. Maybe somewhere right around in here. And now I'm going to paint this area up here first okay then I'm going to paint this right in here and I did not get this yet right here whoops helps to say whoops when you make a mistake or you thought you made a mistake and I think I'm going to paint all this right up into here and again, I'm doing it really quick. I'm going to stay off. Now, I will paint this. I can see detail in there. Got a little bit sloppy there. But that's okay. It's just a tutorial, right? Okay, so there's the next. And now, let me just take it back even further, maybe right around here, and just paint this little section right in here because I think it's a little bit deeper back in there. It's actually the same as that white area over there. I think it's going to be all right, though. I can just paint this. I'll paint this with that same uh, same color of gray, and it will match. It'll match up there, as you can see. I paused the recording for a second because you see right here where it's black here and here. I forgot these areas right here. And I went back to see what the uh, transparency was. It was a 35. So let me go ahead and paint this in as well right here. I don't want to miss these areas because something will look strange there. We don't want that to happen. And I got that already. Yeah, it's the same color. Okay. And also this area right here because I think that's about on that same plane all right, there we go. And now, and now we're done. So here is the uh, before, and here is the after. Again, the before and the after. But see that depth? We have the most detail right here, 
and then it gets uh, a little less and a little less as it goes back and it pulls you back into the image adding some uh, depth into that image so that was our first example now on to the next example and here's our next example this uh, really cool owl right here really cool face on this little beautiful bird uh, so let's work with the overall detail and let's do the small detail first now I'm only looking at the owl I'm not looking at the rest of the image so much so add a little small detail how about a little bit of medium detail and how about a little bit of large detail maybe something like that and now let's get our layer mask and this one would be pretty quick and easy let's go ahead and invert the layer mask and now I'm just going to add it to the owl so let's get a brush and take our transparency move it the whole way to the right to a one hundred percent it'll be a white swatch let's adjust our radius size we'll leave our edge wear on we'll adjust our softness a little bit and I'm just gonna quickly paint around the owl right here and I think this area right here is a little bit sharper so I'm gonna come into maybe right around in here now I have that nice soft edge on the brush right there okay so now let's take the transparency and pull it back a little bit more and let's just paint in the rest of this area down into here maybe something like that okay so now let's take a look here is the before and here's the after so the before and the after so you see that see how it just draws our attention into that owl so very effective there and now we're on our final image here really cool little mountain scene here snowy mountain scene now this one had a little bit of noise in it so I went ahead and ran it through Topaz Denoise AI just to get rid of the noise so or you could use AI clear in here to get rid of the noise but I just wanted to get rid of that noise first so anyway let's go ahead and start adjusting this so I'm looking at the foreground here this foreground amount of snow right here I'm going to give it a little more extra detail and but I'm still going to give it some, a decent amount of detail back in the mountains back here and then I'm going to use uh, like a negative precision detail to soften up the sky and you'll see that here shortly coming up so let's work with our overall small detail first give it some small detail something like that a little bit of medium and don't worry about that sky I know it looks horrible and how about a little bit of large yeah that's way too much Dave something something like there and let's try the highlights because we got snow here let's go to highlights and let's try a little bit of uh, small detail first yeah that brings that up a little bit in the highlights but it's getting a little crazy back in here you see what's happening back in here let me double click this got to be careful with that let me move that up again yeah it's doing some weird stuff back in there so I'm gonna be careful with that if anything I'll just give it a tiny wee bit all right that looks good let's go ahead and get a layer mask let's invert the layer mask and now we'll get a brush and let's adjust the size of the brush and the softness I'm going to leave the edge of wear on. I'm going to take the transparency the whole way to the right, 100%. I'm going to start out painting the foreground in. I know I'm being sloppy here, but I'm trying to hurry up here. I, want, I don't want this video going too long here. So there's our foreground. Now I'm going to cut this back to around, I think, 69%, 70%. And uh, I'm just going to paint in the background. Again, I have the edge of wear on here, so it's going to help me on the edge of the mountains here and let's go ahead and paint across here again I'm being sloppy but take your time as I say and do it right but this will give you the idea of what effect I'm trying to achieve here okay so there we go so a little more detail in this foreground snow a little less detail here but we definitely have detail here's the before and here's the after before and after now let's get another precision detail filter and tackle that sky so remember what I want to do here is remove some of the detail from the sky not all of it but I just want it to be a little more dreamier looking so I'm going to take the overall small detail and start to pull it back 
a decent amount, right? Like there, let's play with the medium detail. I don't want to take all the detail out, but just some of it, okay? And uh, how, let's play with the uh, large detail. Yeah, maybe something like that. Now we're going to get a uh, layer mask. Again, we're going to invert it. And we're going to get a brush. Let's take the transparency to 100%. Let's adjust our radius. Make it pretty big here. I'll adjust the softness here a little bit. Something like so, and let's just paint away. Paint across the sky here. Just painting on down, painting on down. Again, I probably should have made my brush smaller here, but I'm painting this quick. It's a tutorial, so I would recommend making your brush a little smaller there. I have the edge of wear on, so hopefully it'll help me here. So there we go. There is our sky. Isn't that cool? So here's the before and here's the after. Again, the before and the after. It just smooths out that sky a little bit. Now, you could always come back and click on precision detail in this layer here. And, you know, if you felt you wanted it to be a little more dreamier, you could take like the medium detail and pull it back even more. Something like that. And I might want that a little more dreamier, just like there. And again, here's the before and here's the after. So pretty cool. So hopefully you get a really great idea of what you can do with precision detail. It'll add depth and dimension to your image. It'll cause people to look at certain parts of the image that you want their eye to be drawn to. And remember, you can use it uh, to add detail or you could use it to take detail away as I did in the sky here. Well, there it is, the Precision Detail Filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. I showed you today how to use it creatively to get that creative detail to add depth, dimension to your images, to cause your viewer to look at a certain part of the image that you want them to see, to draw attention. That's our job as editors to do that. We kind of manipulate the eyes of our viewers, okay? So that's important, and it's all part of the joy of editing to be able to do this kind of stuff. Hey, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and interact with you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and then click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today today on the joy of editing with dave kelly i'll see you all right here next time but until then happy editing